Right now, state lawmakers in Colorado are meeting to choose party leaders for the next legislative session. Big shift for them and power that now has the Democrats in control of both houses. Seven News reporter Tyler Lopez live for us at the state capitol. A title of the chamber that rejected civil unions in the spring could now be run by an openly gay lawmaker. And it is, Mitch. It's the first time Mark Ferrandino is now the new Speaker of the House, the first openly gay Speaker the state has ever had. We've got a camera inside the Capitol. We'll show you this to you, uh, this to you later. But I'm told he nearly cried when it happened. And get this, Congressman Ed Perlmutter was here, did a cartwheel to celebrate. We'll have to see that. Ferrandino, though, just months after he watched his civil unions bill dismantled when Republicans refused to allow it to come up for a final vote. We were here when that happened back in May, and it was contentious. In fact, surprisingly contentious. It led to shouting from the gallery. It was early May, and the governor had called an extra session, and Ferrandino's opponent on that issue back in the spring. He's also back at the Capitol today. Republican Frank McNulty is here, as all four chambers are going to pick their leadership for the upcoming session in January. Mark Waller is the new Republican minority leader in the House after McNulty decided not to run for any such post. But this time, it's a totally different House. Democrats have a strong 11-vote majority there, destroying the GOP's razor-thin one-vote majority. Now, the possibility, too, that Pat Stedman, another openly gay lawmaker, could be elected today the first openly gay president of the Senate. As I said, we do have a camera here today. We'll bring you all the latest information later. And again, you got to see that cartwheel by Perlmutter. Live at the Capitol, Tyler Lopez, 7 News.